beautiful person, this is Anton, and well, what are we doing in today's video? You know what? So here I was looking for a VR set, because I actually wanted to get into making VR videos, I wanted to kind of make space more exploratory using different VR sets, and specifically I actually really really wanted to buy HTC Vive. But the thing is, I live in a country where it's not that easy. As a matter of fact, uh, in South Korea, where I'm presently located, buying anything that is not locally made is a bit of a challenge. So here's, here's my problem, actually. I'm currently on HTC Vive's uh, main Korean website, and basically here, you know, you can go in and try to buy it. And uh, the thing is, well, yeah, let's go and buy it. Let's see, let's see what the price is. So it says uh, 1.2 million, or I guess 1,250 uh, million Korean won. Uh, so, right, so that's like, what? What is that in dollars? All right, so that's basically $1,100. 1100 US. That, that is a lot of money. That's way, way more expensive than I actually am willing to pay right now. So, I'm kind of stuck here. Even though I really, really want to buy this thing, it's basically a little bit overpriced in Korea. So, you know, what's my solution? And so, what is it that I'm going to be talking about today? Well, it's this company that I found that actually decided to create this really cool tool that sort of emulates VR technology, specifically Oculus Rift technology, using your smartphone. And today we're going to be taking a look at this product known as Ridge or VR Ridge. I'm not really sure. Anyway, this company actually reached out to me and they said, listen, you know, would you like to take a look at it? Because it's only $15 and I think some of your viewers might be interested in this type of product. And I said, hey, this is awesome. This is actually kind of what I was looking for. So today we're going to take a look and kind of review this product and see if it's actually, you know, how uh, if it's worth your time, worth your purchase, and if it's any good. So let's take a look at this um, Vridge by a company known as Rift. And this is actually what their website looks like. It's super, super simple. There's basically their logo on top and that's the name of the product. It's called Vridge. And all you have to do is download the client. Uh, you have to log in. They give you a free version uh, to try. And then basically you can go ahead and purchase um, the actual official version if you enjoyed what you've seen. I'm going to be using this really, really old and crappy, um, I think this is Xiaomi phone. It's a Chinese phone that cost me about $150. It sort of has a scratch on, on the surface somewhere here. I don't know, it's somewhere there. So it's not particularly good. Uh, basically, this is just to give you an idea that this might work on any phone. If you have an Android phone, and this unfortunately only works on Android phones, if you have an Android phone, you'll basically be able to use this tool um, to play different virtual reality games. I'm also going to be using this uh, cheap ass uh, cardboard thingy I found in the local store for about $12. And this is going to be sort of just to emulate the VR um, headset. So anyway, so here we go. We're going to actually launch the Rift Cat. And when you launch it, it's going to ask you, you know, how would you like to connect to your phone? So this is actually, this is a mystery to me. I have no idea how it connects to my phone. I think it's through Wi-Fi, but basically I'm going to choose automatic and it's going to find my uh, phone right away. Uh, so there's my login, I already have an account. And it basically tells me, okay, so, you know, get an app called Bridge from the uh, Google store download it and uh and then try to load uh try to load the app so let's actually do this right now and so here we go here's the bridge app i'm going to just basically click on it and start it and i think what's going to happen is that uh it's going to detect my phone and it's asking me you know is this the phone did you put it in the cardboard i'm gonna just lie and say yes even though it's not technically in the cardboard just yet and um well here's what you'll see you'll see uh, you'll see a phone connected to the thing it's ready for playing games and you'll be sort of brought into the this uh, selection here uh you can either go to settings and try to set up um your um your different uh, video settings here so my phone currently can broadcast at 1280p uh 60 fps and it uses 23 megabit per second connection which is actually pretty fast but um this is actually this is not uh, particularly good for VR, but you, uh, because usually it's 90 FPS, but 60 FPS is already pretty, pretty good. Um, I mean, it's way better than 30 FPS for sure. And you don't want to be transmitting at 30 FPS. There's some other options here. Um, you can choose advanced video settings. I haven't really played around with this just yet, but you can definitely change the resolution. So if your phone is more powerful, you can definitely change the resolution, making this a lot more beautiful. My phone can't handle that. So we're just going to stick to what we have right here and um, we're just going to click OK and so here we have three choices. We can uh, go to Steam and play VR games but these can only be games that are seated so not HTC Vive games, not the games that use controllers. These all have to be seated games 
You can also launch uh, Oculus Rift games. So for example, I do have several, I believe I have uh, Elite Dangerous and I also have Adrift. Both are space games that I really like. And I'm gonna try Adrift with um, Oculus Rift or possibly with SteamVR because it's actually a Steam game. And then there's actually their own games as well. And I did install a few just to try and So there's actually quite a lot uh, of these free uh, sort of simulations, like there's a chemistry experiment VR, coffee without words. I'm not actually sure what these are. Uh, Death Simulator Halloween. And uh, there's two I've already kind of tried. There's Night Cafe, which is uh, basically the Van Gogh simulation, uh, simulation of his paintings. And there's this passage uh, called Ziran, where you basically sit on the boat and you explore these, these beautiful um, locales. So let's, let's just try the Van Gogh simulation. I just wanna show you that it actually does work and it actually is pretty beautiful. And all these are actually free, so you do get them if you, um, if you download the app and also if you purchase the app as well. So let's click on play and you'll see that as soon as I click on play, it's actually going to start connecting to my phone. And there's the uh, night cafe right there. And you can kind of see that it's already sort of detecting my phone settings. So I can kind of slowly start moving. It's a little bit slow right now because it's still loading, but I'm gonna give it a second to refresh. And so here we go. So you can kind of see that whatever I see in my phone is also what I see in the game. You can up, uh, move up and down, left and right. It basically is a very realistic representation of uh, essentially what you see on the screen right there. And this is made with Unity, so you know it's pretty fast. It's pretty beautiful, pretty accurate. Um, I'm also gonna just give you an idea of what it looks like inside the uh, cardboard. So I just try to gently squeeze this inside the cardboard. It's actually a lot more difficult than it looks, mostly because I think this is meant for an iPhone, but I don't have an iPhone. And there we go, so there's the cardboard. Let's actually lock it up. And uh, look at that, it looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna try it out, see what it looks like. And honestly, I think I look like a complete dork using this but it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's a little bit maybe slow, mostly because my phone is not super high quality, but all in all, you can actually see that it works pretty well and it's definitely um, showing you what you see on the screen in the game. In other words, it's an actual representation of what's uh, on the screen right there. So I, as I move the screen up and down, you can see it's moving up and down in the game as well. So that's one of the free games. So let's maybe try one of the um, HTC Vive games, or sorry, not HTC Vive, but one of the games that I have on Steam that are meant for both HTC Vive and Oculus, but specifically for the for the sitting environment. And so I wanted to take a look at the game called Adrift. I have it under my account here somewhere. And there it is. So Adrift is a space game. It's about um, you being stuck in space. And it does have Oculus support and uh, HTC support, but specifically here, it's a perfect game to uh, try out the sitting mode of your VR set. And so from here, as soon as I start a drift in uh, VR mode, you can actually kind of see that I think it actually appears in my phone right away. So there's actually the, um, the warning space adaptation syndrome. So I think I believe I need to use my controller to skip through this. And look at that, there is a drift. Oh, awesome, this is absolutely amazing. Look at that, I can actually totally see what I see in here and up and down, there we go, left and right. And so let's actually maybe skip through uh, or go to the tutorial mission, just so I can show you that, look at that. This is incredible. All right, maybe not super fast, although it does look uh, like it's fast enough. I, I can, can kind of detect a little bit of a lag there. Like if I move too fast, you can kind of see the frames per second don't really catch up. Like here, it's pretty fast. But on my phone, it seems to be a little bit slower, but that's because my phone is actually not very good. Um, but it definitely works. The technology is definitely working. And if you have a good enough phone, uh, like if you have one of the newer Galaxy phones, you'll probably be able to save yourself a lot of money just by getting this plus this, rather than getting an actual HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. All right, so, you know, this clearly works. So let's, uh, let's just talk about a kind of a summary of everything I think about this particular device. So you can kind of see that it's still actually working, even though it's far away from my computer, I can still totally use this to play the game, which is, to me, is absolutely incredible. How it works, it's all magic to me. Anyway, so, is this whole thing worth it? Well, for $15, considering the fact that it's way, way cheaper than buying an actual VR set, it is absolutely, absolutely, totally worth it, just to even try, because there's already so many free games you can use, and if you have an Android phone, uh, I don't see why you wouldn't try it because you know there's a free version you can just try it and if you like it you buy it if you don't like it you don't buy it 
The other thing is that um, I honestly think this is a start of something absolutely incredible. Um, way, way better than any of the Samsung phones that I've seen in Korea that usually use something called Gear VR, which is not particularly good. But this, the actual software that they use that can simulate Oculus Rift, might one day be able to also simulate HTC Vive, which to me is mind blowing. Like just the fact that you can, you know, just do this on your phone instead of buying an actual set would be pretty amazing. But let's talk about the negatives too. So specifically the little problems I've encountered while both setting up this and also just playing around with it. First of all, my phone is a piece of crap. And because of this, uh, not everything works very well on it. It's a little bit slow, first of all. Also, the gyroscope doesn't always detect everything very accurately. So it's a bit of a problem. Second of all, this is also a piece of crap. Cardboard is not very comfortable. As a matter of fact, it's, you know, I have the one where you have to actually hold it to your face. Um, and even if you have the one that attaches to your face, it's still not very comfortable. HTC Vive and Oculus, they've created this absolutely amazing set that actually feels good on your face. This really doesn't, so you wouldn't really be able to play this for more than, I don't know, half an hour before your nose or everything on your face will start just hurting so much. Uh, lastly, there are still some uh, bugs to iron out and also some compatibility is issues with various um, games and various software. Uh, because like, for example, I actually wanted to show you the Elite Dangerous on my phone and you know, on the uh, actual uh, Rift Cat or Bridge as they call it. And unfortunately I couldn't, mostly because for some unknown reason it really wouldn't start. And even though I watched the video that explains to you how to start it, I was having trouble. My um, my Elite Dangerous is not through Steam, so even though I started this particular thing, the actual app would not detect it. So unfortunately I was not really able to show it to you, but I was able to show you a drift. So yes, there's definitely still bugs. It's definitely still a software that's being developed actively. But even what there is already on this awesome, awesome device, and then I'm of course talking about the actual bridge, um, makes me actually um, believe that one day we're gonna have technology that is going to be able to emulate all of these uh, virtual reality sets very easily on your phone without purchase of anything else. But to start, you should definitely check out this app. I mean, there is a free uh, period uh, or free uh, version available for you to actually try and play around with. So go, go and give it a try. I'm posting the link for this software in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video or if you know of any other similar software, um, let me know in the comments below what do you think about this technology? Do you have any, uh, any other similar apps that I can take a look at? And specifically, let me know what you think. You know, is it actually worth it? Do you know anything else about Bridge or Riftcat that I may have not mentioned in the video? I might make a follow-up video about this because I actually would like to try some of the more advanced apps with this. And I actually wanna try this on a better phone. I'm gonna get a better phone from my friend, hopefully one of the um, more recent Galaxy phones. And we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do this with Elite Dangerous, hopefully, and see how good this actually is. Because right now, um, I can kind of see that there is just a little bit of a lag there. So if I were to play this for long enough, I would probably start getting motion sick because um, this needs to have a really high refresh rate for me to enjoy it uh, without getting motion sick. But anyway, so that's all I wanted to say in this video. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Riftcat and Bridge. Uh, Riftcat is a company, I believe. Bridge is the name of their software. Check out the app that they've published. And I honestly think this is probably one of the coolest apps I've seen in a long while. And let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else and do subscribe to learn more about educational stuff, um, various video games that you can use in education and specifically come back to learn more about space, sciences, math. See you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.